Hello everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Uh, today we are going to use the graphics calculator to help you check your answers in your algebra, whether it is year 9, year 10, year 11 or even year 12. So I shall teach you the technique of using the calculator, but I will not teach you the technique of solving the equation. So first we are looking at a uh, the function in the equation in your graphic calculator. So you are going to learn three functions. So when you click on the equation button, okay, uh, you will get a total of three different ways of doing it. A solver, a polynomial, and a simultaneous equation. We are going to go through all these three and hopefully you are able to solve this. The first one is called linear algebra. It means that there's no squared or there's no uh, cube or whatever. So this is called a linear algebra. We are going to solve a simple equation 2x plus 5 equals to 6. So the solution is u minus 5 on both sides, 2x equals to 1, divide by 2, and x equals to half or 0 0.5. So the function you're going to use is solver. When you do a linear algebra, you're using solver. So you are going to press F3 on solver. And then you are going to put the equation. The equation is 2x plus 5 equal to 6. So what happens is that you're going to put 2. The x button is just below the red button, the alpha button. So x is there. 2x plus 5. And the most important thing is the equal sign. The equal sign is actually here. You have to put space shift dot or shift decimal point is the equal sign, the yellow button. And you go put equal to 6 and you execute it. That's not the answer. You have to, fo don't forget to solve it. You press the solve button and the answer is written here, x equal to 0 0.5 and that's how we get it. Cool, isn't it? Okay, we shall do another example. The next example is also another linear algebra. This time it is uh, uh, on a little bit on fractional equation. So we shall delete, exit it, and we are going to put the new equation. So the equation is, we're going to solve this manually, x plus 2 divided by 4 equal to 5. The first thing we're going to get rid of this 4, you multiply by 4 on both sides. So this 4 and this 4 will cancel out. 4 and 4 will cancel out. And we are left with x plus 2 equal to 20. And then we're going to minus 2 on both sides. So the final answer is x equals to 18. So how are we going to put them in a calculator? We shall do it now, okay? So the equation now, we're going to put x plus 2. Don't forget, you need to put a bracket so that it won't be co too complicated. So x is the button below the red button. x plus 2, close the bracket. And the fraction button is here, abc over 4. Equal is again shift decimal point. And the, the 5 is there. And the next thing you do, you press execute. And don't forget, press the solve button. And the answer, if you can see, is 18. So that's how you solve using the calculator. Great. Good. Now we are going to do a harder example. We are doing exponential. Okay. If you learned exponential before, okay, what we're going to do is that we are going to solve 2t equal to 6. So exponential is 2t over 6. So we're going to lock both sides. Lock 2t equal to lock 6. What happened? The t can come down. So t log 2 equal to log 6. And put in your calculator, t equal to log 6 divided by log 2. And the answer is 2.5849. So we shall do that in a calculator. Very simple. Uh, put an uh, equation again. 2 to the power. Power is this button here. And then you're going to put 2 to the power of t. There's no t. So you're going to put x. is the same thing. The unknown. And then equal is put shift decimal point and then you go to 6 and then just press execute and don't forget to press the solve button and the solve button will give you 2.5849 is exactly what we did before great isn't it okay now we're going to do quadratic the first equation is quite straightforward we have done manually x squared minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0 the first thing you do you need to factorize them uh, it's factorized you know, x minus 4, x minus 3 equal to 0, and the answer is the reverse, so it's x equal to 4, x equal to 3. So to do that, you guys, instead of f3, you're going to put f2, because polynomial, anything above power of 2, 3, 4, 5, you are going to put polynomial, so this time we're going to press f2 as your polynomial, because... Uh, we are doing quadratic. Quadratic has the maximum power of 2, so the degree has to be 2. We're going to press F1 degree 2. 
And now we're going to put in a number. So the number had to be in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So ax squared, a is 1. Once you press the 1, you execute. The next number is negative 7. You execute. And the last number is 12. You execute. And the last thing you need to solve, press the f1. You should get 4 and 3. Cool, isn't it? Okay, now we shall do the second equation, more complicated. Now we have 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. So what you do, you're going to factorize them. I've done beforehand, so x plus 1, 2x minus 3, and the answer is minus 1 or 1.5. So where do you put in? So it must be that, that form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So the first thing you do, you're going to put 2, execute. The next number must be negative 1. Don't forget there's a negative 1. And the last number is negative 3. Execute. And the last thing you do, you press the solve button. And the answer, as you can see, is 1.5 and 1. And that's what we got. Negative 1 and 1.5. Great. Okay, last thing we're going to look today is called simultaneous. Simultaneous equation means you have two unknown. And you have to solve the two equations. Simultaneous. So now what we're going to do, we're solving this. 2x minus y equals 7. 3x plus y equals 13. There are two equations. There are two unknown. We need to solve them. To do that manually, we're going to add them up. So 2x plus 3x is going to be 5x. Y minus y plus y is cancelling out. And 7 plus 13 is going to be 20. The next thing you do, 5x to the 20 divided by 5x to the 4. Once you know x to the 4, substitute 4 into either of the equation. We substitute the first equation. So 2 times 4, x is 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus y is going to be 7. And we solve algebraically y equals to 1. So how are we going to put down in the calculator? We're going to put them. Now we have, instead of f2 or f3, we're going to do f1. f1 is simultaneous. And there are two unknown, two equation degree two. Now we're going to put the number. So I put there already two minus one, seven. And the second number is three, one, and 13. Now the last step we're going to do, once you've done it, just press the execute button, which is solving button, sorry, and solve. And the answer is x equal to four, y equals to one. So hope you have learned something from this video and keep on practicing and use the calculator to help you check your answers. Have a good day and enjoy yourself. Cheers.